toast are one of the most popular Indo-Chinese snack or appetizer. You can use any combination of vegetables you like, and since they are fried, kids would love to eat them as an after-school snack. Welcome to Spice Box. Today I will show you how easy these are to make. Sesame toast are fried bread slices topped with a stuffing of mixed vegetables, flavored with soy sauce and spices like ginger and garlic, then lightly coated with a flour batter and topped with sesame seeds. The ingredients we require to make sesame toast are bread slices, finely minced capsicum, spring onions, carrots, French beans, boiled and grated potatoes, garlic, ginger, salt, sesame seeds, pepper, flour or maida, coriander, green chili and soy sauce. We'll start by making the stuffing for our sesame toast. Heat a pan, add some oil, Now add in your garlic, ginger, spring onions, green chilies, carrots, French beans, capsicum, and the potatoes. Stir it well. Just look at the beautiful colors. Perfect. Now add some salt, some pepper powder, give it a good stir. And some soy sauce. Now you don't need to cook this for long because this is going to get fried later on. So just enough until everything is mixed, about a minute or two. I added soy sauce today, but you could also add ketchup or red chili sauce or any sauce that you like. Garlic chutney would be good too. Okay, our stuffing is now done. I'll turn off the flame and let this cool. We are ready to assemble our sesame toast. We'll start by heating a pan, then making our flour slurry. Add water and make sure there's no lumps. When the stuffing has cooled down sufficiently, add the coriander leaves and mix it in. Now take the bread. Today I'm going to be shaping it into a heart shape because my children love eating something that has a beautiful shape. You could also use a katori to make it round or you can even just cut them into rectangles. Just get creative. Now instead of throwing these leftover pieces, you could let them dry out and you can make breadcrumbs with it. So now we're going to take our stuffing and gently pat it down so that it covers all the sides. Then taking the flour slurry, just pour it on the top.
and sprinkle some sesame seeds. Now you could shallow fry these or deep fry them. We're going to shallow fry these today. So spread a little bit of oil in a non-stick pan. Swirl it around and make sure it's hot enough. And then gently slide in, stuffing side down. After a minute or two, gently flip it over and cook it on the other side. Continue making these till all the stuffing are over. Gently pat it down. Add the slurry. It's okay if there's a little that spreads around or there are pockets that don't have, that's fine. Sprinkle some sesame seeds. And then again, stuffing side down. This is a great way to hide vegetables that even the most finicky of eaters will appreciate. As a variation, you could add paneer, tofu, or even cheese to the stuffing mix. Whether a kitty party or a cocktail event, I usually serve these as I can make them well ahead and pop them into the oven to warm just before the guests arrive. Mm -hmm.